Since 2015, Iron Man mode has been an official game mode of RuneScape, where you can't trade and largely play the game by yourself, achieving your own supplies and equipment. The name Iron Man is inspired by Tony Stark building up a suit from scratch in a cave with a box of scraps. And if you choose to play hardcore Iron Man mode, you only have one life, also like Tony. When I log into RuneScape, I have a hard time not dying at least once. And I make sure to give my feedback to Jagex on what I think of their game each time I do. Soon you'll understand why I've left Hardcore Iron Man to the better players. But right now there's not one place to get updated on how the best players in the game stack up to one another. In my view, the best account is the one that has achieved gear and items from the most dangerous activities in the game. On my quest to search for the best One Life RuneScape accounts, I've scoured Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter to get in touch with the owners of the most legendary Hardcore Iron Man of all time. But not all Hardcore Iron Men have social media. Some of them simply exist on the high scores and earn their achievements in private. I went to Temple OSRS, a website dedicated to tracking high scores and kill counts for RuneScape players. I looked for the hardcores with the highest amount of EHB, efficient hours bossed. Griffin takes the lead with over 2400 hours of fighting bosses, but as you'll see, that doesn't necessarily make him the best Hardcore Iron Man to exist. There are safe bosses counted in there, like Chambers of Zarek, and let's be honest, no one's dying to cave kraken. So I scraped the data from all the top hardcores on the list, pasted it into an excel sheet, and deleted all the safe bosses. Now I've created a custom dangerous bossing list of only the most impressive kill counts. There are other ranking criteria, but let's get straight into number 10. Number 10, Griffin. Griffin is rank 33 skill total, however, he has more dangerous boss kill count than 99.9% .9 of hardcore Iron Man. He's killed Bandos over 2,000 times, and next 4,000 times, earning rank 3 and rank 2 respectively. He's also rank 1 in challenge mode Chambers of Zarek, with almost 1,500 completions. That is not a dangerous activity, but it just means that all the dangerous activities he does now are that much scarier because he's invested so much time into this account. When asked if he's going to compete to maintain his standings on the high score, he says that the only reason he did so much bandos was because he got his first pair of bandos tacits on kill count 2017 and his hilt on kill count 2070. That's incredibly unlucky. Also at next, he went below 10 hit points twice. One time he made mistakes and got comboed. The other time he disconnected. Fortunately, his ring of life teleported him to safety both times and one day he hopes to return to next to get the Torva plate legs and Zerite crossbow. What's more impressive is this is his first and only account he started on old school RuneScape. He played RuneScape as a kid, but was brought back to the game from Bodhi's One Man Army series and the release of Hardcore Iron Man. Griffin has 817 dangerous bossing hours under his belt, and his hardcore is still alive. In time, he may end up passing the dead hardcores that are on this list. Number 9, Monkey's Ass. I can't call him that anymore, my mom is watching. Let's just call him Teletubby King, because that's his name on YouTube. He was one of the first ever hardcore Iron Men that subjected themselves not only only to the dangers of monsters, but also other players. Players that can teleblock, freeze, and use special attacks on him in 99% of areas on player versus player worlds. He exclusively played his account on these worlds, training his stats up to extremely high levels, upgrading gear, and even acquiring the Infernal Cape. With nearly maxed combat and 91 Slayer, he made it further than any other PvP hardcore Iron Man to ever exist. Solo mission was a close second. His name is Silly Donuts on Discord, and he told me that it took a lot of concentration to watch the minimap for white dots and immediately teleport out if anybody came. Because if he was on Slayer Task super far away from a safe zone, he could get teleblocked and almost be guaranteed to die. Now, you may be thinking this happened eventually, but no, he never died. He actually achieved everything he wanted to on the account and has since taken it to regular worlds. He doesn't even upload videos anymore. Sad, sad, sad scam game. A challenge that PvP hardcores have to deal with now are scout bots. The bots sit at teleport spots or run around the world map and have a script that notifies PKers where players are and what gear they have equipped. Yet another reason why Mr. Silly Donuts definitely deserves this rank 9 position. Wait, what was that? Kemp, I need your help with something. I want to read books, but also play RuneScape at the same time. Any advice for me? Man, this would be a perfect time to have an Audible sponsorship. Oh, wait. 
Books help open the mind to creativity and new perspectives, and the most successful people you've ever heard of have read a ton of them. That's why I listen to audiobooks on Audible, because I can learn a lot from books like How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. I was already subscribed to Audible well before they sponsored me, and this book shaped my approach to meeting people and engaging with the world. The narrator does a great job of telling the stories from within the book, the stories that demonstrate how every individual has the power to harness their potential for the betterment of themselves and for others. This has been a top three most influential book in my life, and I highly recommend it. So if you ever want to multitask, maybe exercise, or start your own hardcore Iron Man and AFK U logs while listening to one of thousands of titles, you can use audible.com slash KempQ or text KempQ to 500-500. You will immediately redeem a 30-day free trial, absolutely no charge if you cancel. This also supports the YouTube channel, so any click is appreciated. Thank you. Number 8. Catleaf Catleaf is one of many hardcore accounts created by one of the most famous Iron Men in history, Osiris. He doesn't make videos, but he has a Twitter account in which he posts his most impressive RuneScape achievements. Another reason he's so well known is because of his Iron Man Route Guide, a highly optimized list of instructions that helps players build up their Iron Man accounts in the most efficient way possible. On this account, Catleaf, he had rank 1430 for his total level and only 423 dangerous bossing hours. But where he spent those hours was the Corrupted Gauntlet, one of the most challenging and dangerous activities in the entire game. He stands at rank 1 by over 400 kills. And he's going strong, that is, until a few days ago. On June 12th, he lost his hardcore status. He was attempting the most difficult combat achievement in the game, killing Hydra while staying below 10 hit points the entire time. He was halfway through the kill when unfortunately his nerves got the best of him and he prayed the wrong protection prayer. The task is called No Pressure, but unfortunately he didn't get the memo. Okay, sorry. Regardless, if you've done even one Corrupted Gauntlet, you know that he deserves rank 8 for never dying there a single time throughout 1,669 kill count. A legendary hardcore Iron Man indeed. Number 7, Solo. This hardcore Iron Man had maxed stats upon death, and he sits at rank 44 skill total. The risks he'd taken on his account are staggering. 2,000 Nightmare of Ashihama kills, 3.5k Zamorak boss kills, 1,000 Vorkath kills, 435 Corrupted Gauntlets, 862 Scorpios, and 5,000 King Black Dragons. Even after being dead for 14 months, he is still rank 1 Nightmare and Zami among living and dead hardcores. He went into the wilderness to fight Scorpia 862 times, a multi-combat zone where a team could have logged in at any moment and one-shot him. But he never died to a PKer throughout all of that. Overall, he killed 12,386 dangerous bosses, subjecting himself to danger for at least 649 efficient bossing hours. Unfortunately, he lost his life on April 13th of 2021 during the Corrupted Gauntlet, when the game stopped registering his clicks. Still, his name is solidified among the most legendary hardcores to ever exist. He now plays on a duo group hardcore Iron Man with his friend, and it looks like he's taking revenge on Corrupted Gauntlet. He nearly has full crystal and all the unlocks from that activity. We look forward to more of his progress in the future. Number 6, Joey Fernando. Joey Fernando's Hardcore Iron Man has fully maxed stats and rank 42 overall. He'd achieved full Torva, full Armadil, full Ancestral, everything from the Corrupted Gauntlet, all Challenge Mode Dusts, Dragon Hunter Lance, and all God Swords. He earned rank 1 next with 7,403 kill count and still holds that position today. Unfortunately, he died on April 23rd of 2022. He says on Twitter he died to grotesque guardians due to mistakes made there. With the highest amount of bossing hours we've seen so far, he just scrapes 1,000 dangerous bossing hours. Such a massive account to lose, but what's important is how far he made it. Well done. Number 5, Lydia Kenny. Most of the top page hardcores don't do much bossing. They prefer to bank stand and get as much experience as they can to get a higher skill total rank, but not Lydia Kenny. At the time of recording, she has rank 2 overall stats. She has the highest dangerous kill count out of anybody on this list at 26,334. This shows she's invested a ton of time into this account, so every dangerous bossing hour is even more meaningful. Most of her dangerous bossing hours come from 18,000 kills of Alchemical Hydra, over tripling the second place kill count. Many hardcores have died at Hydra, so this is no joke. She also has 651 kills of Corporal Beast and 682 of Fasani's Nightmare. But what really carries her to legendary status is the fact she's done all this and achieved nearly 2.5 billion XP at the same time. She's definitely one of the bravest hardcore Iron Men in the top 10 overall and even the top 100 overall. Number 4, Calculator. Calculator is rank 474 skill total. 
You must be thinking, why is he even on this list, and how is he ahead of the others? Well, he started his account in the wilderness, and stayed there. His goal was to start from scratch in the wilderness and get every pet from every wilderness boss. First, he kills lava dragons for magic levels and money. Then he rushes low level revenants and gets a 2 million GP ancient emblem. Not too long after, he's at Crazy Archaeologist and achieves his first malediction shard. Gets the chaos elemental pet, tries and fails to complete wilderness only hard clues, and then eventually decides he needs better equipment outside the wilderness. These are the approximate stats he achieved around the time he left to get his improved gear outside the wilderness. But he came back with some pretty good upgrades, even repping the Infernal Cape. 500 wilderness tasks, that's more than most anybody can say they've achieved, never mind being a hardcore Iron Man. He gets his first dragon pickaxe on kill count 1 of Callisto, but then hunts down his dragon Warhammer, almost dies to Gauntlet, rolls the jackpot for the Eternal Amulet of Glory, gets a blowpipe, and so on. The amount of risk he took, both in and out of the wilderness, is almost unbelievable. He says the biggest challenge was the hardcore wilderness KC tracker bot was advertising his kill counts to everyone, which gave him a lot of paranoia. He achieved what so many hardcores couldn't achieve in safe zones, and then also went on to kill thousands of bosses in the wilderness as well. To do this, he used a few of his other accounts to help him in the multi-combat zones. But it was just him, he didn't use a team. And at any point, a big clan could have logged in and put his hardcore Iron Man status to question, which is exactly what happens. Take a look at this insane bank picture and inventory. The man got 39 dragon pickaxes on a hardcore Iron Man, and yet there are still people on Reddit that complain about being forced into the wildy. This is his death tweet. He died trying to finish the Grandmaster combat task of speedrunning the gauntlet. This goes down as one of the most unique accounts in old school RuneScape. Number 3. Waiters with maxed skill total and rank 81 overall, Waiters takes the number 3 position. He seems fearless in the face of dangerous bosses. Over 1,000 dangerous bossing hours has earned him a scythe, torva plate body, and legs, rank 3 Fosani's Nightmare and Nex, and rank 8 Corrupted Gauntlet. He's also killed Callisto 51 times as well, meaning he wasn't afraid of treading into the wilderness at one point. Overall, it's the variety of dangerous content and his skill rank that puts him at the number 3 spot. 1,000 dangerous bossing hours and still going strong. Number 2, Praisefoot. This hardcore has maxed skill total and has achieved full Torva. He's ranked 22 overall, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. He's one of two hardcores in the world to have completed a hard mode theater of blood. Hard mode isn't just hard, it's excruciatingly difficult. I've done 79 hard modes and probably died a hundred times. Wish I could say I was getting. Never dying while getting 58 completions, that is an achievement all on its own. But on top of that, he's completed 936 regular theaters of blood, killed a thousand corporal beasts, 452 hydra, and done 200 gauntlets. If you know about combat achievements, you know they aren't easy, especially getting into Grandmaster tasks. He has done almost every single one, except these two, the same Hydra task that we saw killed Catleaf earlier, and Nightmare Speedrunner. If he completes these tasks, he'll be the first hardcore Iron Man to have ever achieved the famous Zuck Helm. But already his achievements with combat tasks cannot be understated. A seriously impressive account that wins him second place. Honorable mentions go to Agile Flea 53, the first hardcore Iron Man to fully complete Theater of Blood, getting his last item at exactly 300 kill count. Spider Kill 93, who continues to impress us with his bravery in fighting wilderness bosses. He has a handful of accounts where he's acquired items like the Crossbow, Vigora's Chain Mace, Chaos Elemental Pet, Tyrannical Ring, and more. He got 20 Dragon Pickaxes on his first high risk hardcore and continues making impressive accounts to this day. XEN was one of the first hardcores that dared go into the Theater of Blood. He Rated alongside Bodhi, who was also one of the first. In 378 Theater of Blood kill count, he got three scythes on his account. 
Oispa Kalja had the dream tank setup, full Justicer, Ellie, and Grazi Rapier. We don't know his kill counts right now because he did this before high scores showed up for bosses, but either way, his achievements were iconic for his time. Avzal's group hardcore Iron Man team achieved the Infernal Cape at just 56 combat. The team consists of Avzal, Unpredictable, Nabe, and Smallcroft. Carpen Tree, known as a Cold One, is the only person in history to have soloed the Theater of Blood on a hardcore Iron Man. He made his account with the sole purpose of achieving this goal, but he had to get himself full Guthans to heal himself, and lots of items from Chambers of Zarek, before he could take on the challenge. He managed to complete it, and later that day, he sacrificed the account to Corrupted Gauntlet. Now for the most legendary one-life RuneScape account of all time, the hardcore Iron Man with the most dangerous bossing hours, Rank 1 Theater, Rank 1 Hard Mode Theater, Rank 2 Nightmare, Rank 11 Chaos elemental, and formerly the lowest level hardcore with an infernal cape. In the number one spot, we have Tree Klein. One of Exact's first goals when starting this account was to get the Infernal Cape at one defense. He got it at just 58 combat. But he didn't stop there. He went on to face almost every boss in the game while staying a pure. People may not know that he's rank 1 Scorpia. That's in a multi-combat zone in level 52 Wilderness. He killed 3,500 of them, which is over 150 hours of fighting this boss. He's completed over 500 Gauntlets, 1,500 Fosani's Nightmare, 606 Callisto, 500 167 Zami Boss, and 500 hard mode theaters. Remember, this is what the hard mode theater high scores looks like. It's basically empty. Exact is one of the two people to get a completion, never mind complete 500. All of this at just level 1 defense. Exact couldn't be killed, at least not if he was trying his best. So in order to use his account for a good cause, he ran a fundraiser for Pencils of Promise, a charity dedicated to education around the world. He ran this fundraiser while providing some epic forfeits related to his hardcore iron. Iron Man. He got two defense after raising $2,000. Getting that two defense, it hurt a little bit, but is all for a good cause. He eventually trained up to 42 defense, and after another donation goal was hit, he ended up putting his hardcore status on the line, attempting solo Theater of Blood. Reminder, this has only been done once before in the past by a cold one, and he had Piety, Blood Fury, and Full Guthans to heal him. But with 42 defense, many key upgrades are locked to exact. This begs the question on if it's even possible possible to complete this challenge. On his second attempt at Verzik, unfortunately the damage just wasn't enough. Because Verzik has a max hit of 16 on prayer, he was forced to teleport out. Now he's returned and web phase is just about to happen, which is a free phase. He had a 76% chance of survival from that projectile. There it is. There it is. and certainly would have gotten enough damage on Verzik to get this free web phase completed. But luck didn't favor him. Gonna risk it. And there is no biscuit. However, he raised a lot of money for a good cause, and I've left the link to Pencils of Promise in the second line of the description. Over the next 24 hours, I'll be matching any donation there up to $500, but in addition to that, also one cent for each like on this video. And there you have it, the most legendary hardcore Iron Man.